Hello and welcome to today's topic, which is they say that Luxembourg is the best country to raise children. Is this true or false? We are going to find out shortly. We are going to discuss 10 reasons that make Luxembourg the perfect country to raise your children. So it will be up to you to decide whether this statement is true or false. So here goes the birth allowance. Luxembourg is well known for its generous birth allowance. This consists of prenatal, the birth and then the postnatal. The government supports the pregnant mother through the pregnancy, during the birth and after the birth of the child. This is very generous of the Luxembourg government to provide for the mother. So by the time you're going through the pregnancy, you know that if you may be lacking in finances or something, you know that the, the government support that is coming in when you are pregnant and then during the uh, during the prenatal visits and stuff like that, the government also supports you. And then after when you give birth, the government still gives you something. So during the whole three seasons or, or the whole three st stages of, uh, of pregnancy, the government of Luxembourg is there with you to support you, which is a very good plus. That I would say is something that is very, very generous of the Luxembourg. And then the second one is the family allowance. The family allowance, this is given to the child from the time of birth until the child is 18 years of age. The minute you pop that child, the government of Luxembourg will start giving you a monthly allowance. Just think about that. You know, sometimes, you know, as mothers, uh, you, 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 you completely, sometimes finances are so, like they are so stuck, you know, and then you when that money comes in it's like oh thank you lord for this money so it's very generous of the luxembourg government to provide the kind of money i will not i will not mention the amounts right now we shall have a different vlog and we shall discuss the the the, the amounts that are given per stage of uh, of of, uh, of the allowance but for now i'm just giving you just the, the, the different um, things that the government of Luxembourg is doing for people to raise their children and then the other one is the back to school allowance so once you're done with giving birth to them and stuff like that, you know that they have to go to school. So you should not worry so much about that because the government of Luxembourg is still there to give you the back to school allowance. This is given based on the age. The minute the child in Luxembourg turns six, it's mandatory for you to send your kid to school. And so when you send your kid to school, it's the government of Luxembourg is still there by your side to provide you with an allowance. School starts at the age of six. And from then on, the child will receive an allowance to go back to school. And this money is paid every year, August, every beginning of August of every year. You're sure that you're going to receive your money because the school year starts in September. Most of the kids go back to school in September. So by August, the government has covered you and you're just there ready to do your shopping for the kid and send the kid back to school. Isn't that something that is really good, people? I mean, I mean, I mean, really, people, just think about that. And then the adoption allowance. This is only given for postnatal because I mean it's it, it cannot be given for the, for the for the prenatal and the birth because this is you're not you're not giving birth to the to the kid. So the government at least is government is still there by your side, the mother to support you, the family or the parent or whatever to support you because they know that after the adoption that is the postnatal. I mean you you the, you you adopt a child and then from then. The postnatal is given to the government does not, of Luxembourg doesn't forget that as well. So if you if you you know that you in, in, are going to uh, planning on adopting a child, still there is that benefit that you're receiving from the government, which is called the adoption allowance, which is given from, from the child from the child the time you receive the child. That is the postnatal, and then they give you something, which is a plus. And then on top of that, uh, the government also gives a, an allowance for the disabled children. So if you have a disabled children as an impairment of the child, the government of Luxembourg is still also there to give you some. So you really see that the government of Luxembourg is really real, right in the corner of every parent supporting them to ensure that the, that uh, the families are, are supported as much as possible, which is really good because it can be tough out here. It can really, really be very tough when you have a family and then money sometimes becomes very scarce when you are pregnant you should know that you're entitled in total it's uh, about 11 months of leave because we have the maternity leave that is different and then we have the parental leave the maternity leave is consists of five months so the first which is the first two months you take it before you give birth and then the other three months, you take it after you give birth. So the government of Luxembourg really does not want mothers to be stressed. So the moment you know that you're left with two months to give birth, 
the government of Luxembourg requests all employers to ensure that the mother is home. So at that time, you have enough time to you know, just take care of yourself, take care of your baby, you know, just think about the baby and the pregnancy and nothing to do with work. That is really, really good for us mothers because we know what you go through during pregnancy. It's not easy for everyone. Some people have difficulties and other people it's easy. So whatever way the government of Luxembourg is there to support you, which is a very, very good for working mothers. And then after that, there is what we call the parental leave. The parental leave consists of six months. So that parental leave can be taken by both the mother or the father. It's for both parents. So you, it's upon you the, you, the couple, to decide who will be taking this parental leave. So in most cases, I believe mothers are the ones who take this leave or because of when the baby is still young and stuff like that. But if you're a career woman, and I mean you really want to know, like, you know, um, build your career, and sometimes you decide not to take the parental leave or you can just take it in shifts. You can take it like maybe two days in a week so you can prolong your parental leave It's as, as you decide. So this is really good because it gives a chance to either the mother or the father to spend as much time as possible with your kid. And if some of you, if someone you decide you want to take all the six months, you can take all the six months and you just take care of your child. By the time you go back to office, you have spent a lot of time with your kid. You have bonded with your baby. And it's just a beautiful thing that I really, really appreciate from the Luxembourg government because it's not very common in so many countries. It's really not common. In my country, for sure, it's not common. So when I came to Luxembourg and this was there, it was something that a big, big a big, big, big plus for me because I'm like, this is good. You get to spend a lot of time with your child you're born, you know. So it's a plus for the Luxembourg government. So those are the first five uh, things that the, the Luxembourg government is doing to support parents raise their children. So do not leave. I'll be shortly back with the other five benefits that the government is providing. Thank you. Bye.